welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new video so today i'm sitting down to do a little unboxing or a what fits of my new bag that i purchased from fashion file for my birthday you guys would have seen a really brief unboxing in one of my vlogs where i showed you guys everything i purchased for my birthday i will link that vlog here if you want to check it out it's right there at the end so i picked up the chanel medium um classic flat bag from fashion file this is my very first pre-loved handbag and i thought i would talk a more about the process with you all because like me you might be completely new to this whole world and i was and i literally did so much research because it was my first time buying a pre-loved handbag and using like a site and just the whole process so so i thought i would sit down and talk about the process and show you guys the bag and everything and you guys know i always make a dedicated video for all of my bags so let's do it so first and foremost fashion file is where i purchased the bag from and i found the site really easy to use and i decided to stick with that one because i felt like there was more um there was a lot of videos on youtube with people who have purchased from them and had really good experiences so i was comfortable doing that and um all you do is just basically type in the style of bag that you want and they'll show you all of the options and colors and you're able to just heart it and follow that item to see if it ever goes on sale whatever the case might be i found the site very user friendly it's it was very easy to use so this is actually the lamb skin which is the most delicate texture that they offer so it's very delicate very but this is what it looks like after a couple of years where the lambskin is no longer as fluffy as you see here it's now like deflated i saw i forgot her i think it's coco butte she has a vintage handbag and when i first saw this bag on her i was like wow what bag is that like how do i get the flat look but i was told that it's definitely a vintage handbag because over time this is what they look like and I definitely knew for a fact I wanted the lambskin because I personally believe that it looks more luxurious. Well, in the future, I might consider getting the caviar leather just because I feel like a, with that material, I would wear it more because I won't be so worried about scratching it or anything. Whereas this, this is a baby. You can't really do too much. And this bag is actually from the 90s, so it's as old as I am. We're basically the same age. So... Whoever owned this bag prior took really good care of it because she is just such in great condition. Um, you guys can see up close here, really good condition, you guys. Um, it's just beautiful. They did a really good job and I'm gonna try my hardest to let this bag last me a couple more years as well. So I have been babying the bag a lot. You can see from the bottom here, there's a little bit of like creasing, but still very minimal the pocket also is perfect and then these are the sides the edges also are really really good they're not bad at all and i must say the images that fashion file had on the site did not do this bag justice because after i purchased the bag and i was awaiting shipment and all of that i was like wow did i really do that because this bag is going to look so old and jaggedy it's going to look crazy but when it came and i really opened the box i was like wow and if you guys aren't aware the hardware on the bags from that time period or the vintage ones they are made of 24 karat gold so this is like not gold plated not gold filled it's literally like 24 karat gold so the hardware is just stunning on these bags and it's also really really heavy the gold is just so vibrant and rich i am just obsessed so to open the bag here we have the interior and then we have the little small pocket here where you know the story coco chanel used this pocket to hide her love notes I'm gonna ask you know a few of my suitors to write me some love letters i'll stick them in here too so that's what this part looks like and there is a few scratches on this part but very minimal and i can live with it so it's not bad at all then we lift up the second flap and this is where the burgundy um exterior looks like and here slight creasing but still so minimal and just amazing amazing condition and then there's also another pocket right here and in this one i have 
a couple of things here. So this particular Chanel handbag, not all of them do. On Fashion File, you will see that some of them have a authenticity card and some don't. I will definitely say to try to find one that has a authenticity card. I have no doubts about this because it is a vintage bag and I just feel like vintage bags just have a look. You can't like really fake it. And just so you guys know, the Chanel store will not authenticate it, but if you have a little essay there that you're cool with, I will suggest asking them, they will do it. And then in the middle of the bag here, I stuffed it with this little towel thingy because when this bag was first received, it did have a little bit of structure wear. You probably can see it now. So I have been keeping it stuffed that way when it's like sitting in my closet, it's kind of like maintaining its shape. So yeah, it does have a little bit of structure wear right here. You guys can see as I'm like squishing it. There's a little bit of structure wear, but keeping it stuffed kind of like fixes that issue. And this is basically these straps here. So, so prior to getting this bag, I actually went to the Chanel store to try on the small and the medium size classic flaps because I wanted to know which size would better suit me. I decided to go with the medium because I just felt like it just made more sense and this will hold its value or be able to be sold back if I choose to a lot quicker because the medium is more in demand. And also, the one con is I feel like I'm very limited in how I can wear it. I feel like the bag sits beautifully this way as a shoulder bag, but as a crossbody, it hangs a little bit weird and it's a little bit uncomfortable because the strap isn't that long, but I'm okay with it. It's not really a big deal. I love this bag so much, I don't even care. Like, this bag can do no wrong in my eyes. And then this is a close-up of the strap. Like, just still so beautiful, like, and again, it's still so much heavier than like the normal bag. It's crazy, like it has some weight. The bag on its own empty is a little bit heavy, but um, you know, it's not really a big deal. So I have my everyday bag here, my Angela Roy, and I'm just going to be stuffing the handbag here to kind of give you guys an accurate description of what fits in here. So let's start off with my phone, and this is the iPhone 12 this is the largest size that they offer so that fits in here perfectly then you know lip gloss of course chapstick as well we need both i have my wallet here so this is going to fit and this is the louis vuitton victorine wallet i also carry a key clay as well so this is a must in my handbag let's say i wanted to carry a pack of gum let's say i wanted to carry a snack this is a kind bar Altoids just for the heck of it and some antiperspirant wipes So that's basically what I fit in this bag right now and there's still room and this bag kind of fits a lot for me Because I feel like all of these things are what I'd probably bring in like let's say my Alma BB or anything like that And I feel like there's just so much room and I could fit more stuff in here if I really wanted to Again, this is extremely heavy though. Like it's like literally heavy to a point where you're probably like, oh, this is too much. But it's because of the hardware. So as you guys can see, I fit all those things and it's not bulging excessively. It's just normal. And also because there is, is some um, structure wear, I do stuff this bag because I don't want it to look like it has structure wear. So I don't mind carrying a lot of stuff in here. It's very easy to access your belongings. Overall, my experience on Fashion File was very smooth and easy. I will say though, like to be honest, I feel like I could have paid a lot less for this, but with every Chanel price increase in stores, I believe the pre-love market also goes up as well. But regardless, I probably saved two, three thousand dollars on this bag regardless. So to me, that's a win. So overall, my experience with the pre-loved market fashion file, I really loved it. It was very easy and I was able to call in and have a shopper like inspect the bag for me and let me know what they thought about the condition in person, considering that I'm not there. So that was really, really easy. I just loved it. And with Chanel's like price increase every single year, it's making it harder to even buy these bags out new which is kind of like a bummer because if you're purchasing your first Chanel handbag, I can imagine you want the whole Chanel experience. You wanna speak to a shopper, you want champagne, you wanna have a shopping bag to like take pictures with and just like document the whole experience. 
you don't really have that with fashion file sometimes you're able to find a bag that has an authenticity card a box and a shopping bag but that's very rare with this bag I only was able to get the dust bag and the authenticity card and then fashion file shipped it in their own branded dust bag but yeah it does suck for that part because you know you're purchasing your first like big girl purse your first handbag your first chanel and you don't really get the whole experience so if that's something that you really really want i wouldn't go the pre-loved route but also because of just how much money i was saving i was willing to compromise that you know i love my bag and i'm so excited i got it um definitely it's just like so nice because we're like the same age and i will forever remember this bag and when i become a year older or three years older this bag will be aging with me and definitely moving forward in the luxury community i do want to just invest in more quality pieces like more quality and classic designer purchases that'll just last me forever that will forever be timeless and by the way you guys i named her ophelia because you know ophelia is like an older name just like octavia is um they're roman and just like you know has a little like ancient vintage vibe to them so this is ophelia so that's pretty much it for this video i will leave a link to fashion file below if you guys wanted to check anything out they have some really good things there for like amazing prices again not sponsored i just had a really good experience i'm pretty pleased so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and yeah Thanks for helping me welcome Ophelia to the family. I love her so much. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.